Oh, there's some there. There were eight of eight little babies the other day. And now I'm just wondering, <laughs> but there might be two over there. You might have an alligator, too. <laughs> now, what I want to get is that story. You told it to me once, and I want to get the details here. Which story? Well, it, it made a big impact on me. They said that one of your colleagues or someone who was um, always complaining about his wife... And he was ragging on his wife, and she does this, and she does that. And you had this comment to me that I don't want to be around people who complain about their wives. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Because I, I think the wording you put it, I didn't get it exactly, but it's something like that kind of energy is not just kept at home. It goes everywhere. That kind of negative energy. That, that's so long ago. I remember something like that. That's a long, long time yeah. ago. But that had a real um, impact on me. I said, you know, I, I have friends who complain about their wives. Sometimes in a joking way, but uh, they wouldn't want to say it in front of their wives. So. But you want to know something else. One of the reasons that we really sold our place in Florida mm -hmm. was because every afternoon I'd have time off from work and in the afternoon I'd sit around with six or eight fellas and they talked about two things, their aches and pains and the early bird. So one day I said to these fellas this is five years ago I said to them, do you know that all you fellas talk about is your aches your pains and if we get there before five, we'll get the early bird. Don't you have anything else to talk about? <laughs> so they said, well, who are you, Mr. Perfect? You're still working. And I said, thank goodness I'm still working. That's right. And I said to them, you know what? It I can't stand to be with you fellas any longer. Right. And I think I'm going to move out of here. That was on a Saturday. On Sunday, somebody called us. On Monday, we sold the place. Isn't that amazing? That is a great and, and coincidence. I, I, no. Right. Yeah. It's just that, you know, you don't want to be with... Look at it. I'm 86 years old. In six months, I'll be 87. And oh. Esther will be 87. Who the hell ever lived in the 80s, you know? Right, right. When you were 60 years old, I didn't want to touch you for fear to fall over. <laughs> now... And I feel I'm in very good health. Right. And if I wasn't, I wouldn't tell you. That's because it. you want to know something? Was it Rudyard Kipling that said, cry and you cry alone, right. laugh and the world laughs That's with, with you. you? Right. And it's true. Right. I don't want to hear about that your foot hurts. Who Can I make it any better? Right. No. No. Anyway, hmm. that's my story. I like your stories. <laughs> No, because when I'm around negative energy, that's yeah. one of the things that I think yeah. about. It's like it, it, I, people complain, oh, I don't have any work to do. You know, no. I wish I was working. Well, go and work. You know, <laughs> that's, that's right. all. If you want to work, right. go and work. But you see how low the lake is? Yeah, yeah. I just want to show you. It should be up to where the, the that stake dark is, spots right? are, right. which is really, it's about, that's a, this is yeah. really the lowest I remember. It must be two feet low. Yeah, looks that way. But isn't this just pretty? Doesn't it look like a little fishing village or something? It does. And I guess it's stocked with some good fish, huh? They stock it. The, the DNR comes in and they put in fish every year. Oh, nice. So people fish. But don't forget, most of the people...